or not? Uh, well, we are above the big round gravel bar up from the gulch. Uh, we were thinking of heading upstream and trying to get a gander at this one and the upper one where the uh, Renata Hinden's side is. Um, we're wondering if you might want to go try to get a gander at the creek above the big gulch. Well, it, we're looking at such a large space here that we thought by dividing our efforts, we might be able to get you down there and we could go up and hopefully find a way up the bank here to meet you at the truck somehow. Exactly. We are here now looking down it towards it, but it's completely obscured by rhododendrons and trunks of firs. That's the Murphy area. Can't see it from here. But we're not. We are approximately above the creek where Rene de Hinden would have been shooting down. Assuming this central gravel bar being the film site, we're about his level right now. I was thinking if you went on the far western side of the creek, you may be able to just go down where it's plausible, away from the deadfall, and perhaps get a good look down at the Murphy site without bushwhacking too much at all. Uh, over. <laughs> uh, as far as we're concerned, we'll be heading in the opposite direction. We may be able to just go down to the creek and hike back up from there. I don't know. Okay, we'll head up. If we uh, have a major injury, we'll try to get in touch with you. Okay, well, we'll let you know in a few minutes what we see or whether we die or not. Do you know how high up this shot was taken from, if you were to guess? Uh, heading up this direction from the Big Gulch, this is the only gravel sandbar that replicates the De Hinden photo at all. Ian's going to hopefully get some pictures downstream, but there's no um, sandbar up ahead that's going to be anything like what we see in the film. However, it, despite the fact that it's covered in trees, we can maybe see the background trees, the big firs. Um, right here, looking across from De Hinden's perspective, if this is the film site, we have absolutely no trunks that look at all like um, the big tree or anything around it. You can see those maples and alders are growing quite tall there, <laughs> right? Completely obscuring the lower. We were hoping to get above those buggers, right? Yeah, we were. And it, there's no way to do that anymore. But that looks good. That looks like the Hinden sandbar. Let's talk about that. It looks now, bigger from up here too, doesn't it? It does. And the creek is down there. Yeah, the creek is behind those vine maples. Right here. It's hard to see from this side. You can see it down There's through the creek there. Right down there. Past that's, that little, what is that, a tan oak? Um, no, that's a, that's a maple there. Baby. Oh, below that, yeah. Right here, this yeah. this tree. If you look through that little angle, that's you can the see the creek there. there. Yeah, right down here, that's the, uh, that's the creek that runs around the outside perimeter of this whole area here. 
and it cuts back up this way, and it, there's a curve, and it goes farther up the canyon down here. In the picture, it was taken kind of like that, mm -hmm. where you have the river at the very bottom right here, and you have this big open gravel bar, but then they had trees sticking up in it. This is the only thing that replicates that at all, though. And we have the nice curve of the creek right there. Yeah, the curve looks good. And from this angle, we're getting the right dimensions just by our eyeballing of it. If I remember rightly in the photo, it also had the bottom part was pretty much open gravel, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which would be all down here. And then the upper part is where the figure was standing and the uh, trees were in yeah, back well. this way. We're looking at the front of the sandbar in the Hinden's photo. So if this is the site, the place where the creature is is going to be moving through those trees right there. But anyway, I'm, I'm more at the bend of the river and I'm still blocked by most of the alders looking back towards the Murphy site. So I'll take some uh, panorama shots here and then move on downstream. Uh, it's interesting, I may actually be lower than the Hinden was right here. Yeah, I'd imagine you are. And frankly, uh, does it look like the, the sandbar? Because what we're looking at is almost at the De Hinden level, and it really looks good. If you were to take a, a nice industrial weed whacker and cut out all that young growth, I could totally see Patty walking in the back uh, behind this gravel bar, you know, just into the trees there. And for, unfortunately, we can't see the trunks of the big trees behind. There's really no way to get an angle above them. Except perhaps from the road where we were, that's the best view uh, over. Uh. Let me know when you start coming back downstream and uh, we'll link up somewhere. Otherwise, uh, I'll be moving downstream slowly myself. Oh, okay, we are going to, I think, head upstream just a ways, but it's looking like uh, implausible to go much farther um, to the upper sandbar. We may just like decide to head down into the creek and meet you down by the bat boxes. Uh, how's that look for you? Uh, Roger that. Bat boxes. Sounds like the best idea to me too. Uh, I'll be on my way there slowly. Okay, we'll try to accomplish something on our way and maybe we'll um, give you a status update before we uh, head down to the creek or whatever we do. Alright? We'll see you down there. Uh, we'll talk to you before we head down one way or the other. <sighs> okay. 10-4, Smokey. <laughs> well, I think our best bet is to keep going down. I think yeah, it I think so. We, we, we may be able to angle this way. I think so. But you can see... You've got to figure where those, where those uh, fa still failures are. Well, Renee's X is right past those... Right past those... Um, branches of that fur, that young fur that's mm -hmm. coming up in there. But, uh, that so, you know, really, we're looking at, this is the gravel bar. You can see her walking through here and to that X. I mean, who knows what he was indicating with that X. Mm -hmm. This all could have been the sandbar right here, but there's been erosion in that gulch, upper gulch there, right. where the X is on the map. So it may be that this was the starting area of that sandbar that actually covered this whole area. And the whole area going back to those trees coming up. You see those two coniferous trees with that maple coming up in the middle? Right. Uh, it may have gone back to there and through to here, which would include that upper sandbar behind that tree. Uh, then if we were over here taking the, the hint and shot, we would have had more of that gravel bar. Right, so let's keep heading 45 that way. But we're not going to see anything, no. unfortunately. This is probably the best bet. We're going to head in that direction. You have to make sure we're not above the, the slip faces, which is pretty much that way, right? These should be okay down this way. We may be able to just angle into the creek down through here. Well, I can see it right there. It's, there's hope for us. We head to our, towards those firs, those far firs, past the dead, the dead one there. See that dead trunk? We angle through there. It looks like we can perhaps even get comfortably to that far fir trunk there. Yeah. And yes. then um, See it, looks, it looks like we've got a way down to the creek. Those, those willows, we can hand over hand down yeah, that little yeah. slope. And this looks like we can hand hold it through this gap right there. Too. I think so too. All right. But going up, I'm not liking it. I'm not liking the looks of that at all. 
No, we made it down to here. And, uh, I understand. I'm with Steve all the way on this one. I can back up this stuff here. This is the side profile of the slope. And those trees are a good indication how steep it is. So, so far so good. No injuries. We're doing good. Uh, we're just going to keep going, be safe, take our time. And this is good. I mean, I'm pretty happy with what well, this is. Very similar to the shot that I remember seeing on that. Yeah, and to, to all those people who say, why can't you just track a Bigfoot through this country? Good luck. We've moved about uh, 20 yards in the last 20 minutes. <laughs> so um, I say Bigfoot's got a number of degrees uh, better ad adaptation to this than we do. <laughs> I can't deal with that. <laughs> Bigfoot lives. <laughs>